episode of Skyblock. You might be very confused as to why I just did that intro, but I've been thinking about it a little bit, and you know what? I missed that intro. I think I got rid of that intro because... I did that whole video about my real voice, you know, back when I first did YouTube. I, I think I was kind of nervous and I, I decided to like do a little voice like this. But um, I should I bring that intro back? I miss it. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to yet another episode of Skyblock on Pokefine. If you guys want to check out this server, IP is down in the description below. This is where we play the Pokemon series, me, Tia, and Ian, and Madeline. And it's also got a Skyblock server. That's what we're going to be playing today. Also has Pokewars, which is Pokemon Bet Wars, and Pokemon Murder, which is like murder mystery, both with Pokemon. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for this episode. Last episode, we finally got a a geo dude which basically acts like a couple stone generator i'll show you guys that in case uh, you didn't watch yesterday's video uh, or not yesterday's the last video shame on you if you didn't not really but still before we get into the video, however, guys, if you are still enjoying this, make sure to hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and click that little bell to turn on notifications and become a part of the notification squad. Also, we got merchandise available. You only have a week more to get it. If that week runs out and you didn't buy it, it'll never be available again. Links are down in the description for that. And also, I just posted a new video on the Craner Games channel. Here's a clip of it. Sure. Look, I'm like... <laughs> what do you guys want? What do you guys want, huh? What do you what do you all want, man? If that looks like something you want to watch, click the little info card or check the description down below from that channel and the TN Creator channel as well. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I know I'm, my intros are kind of long lately. I've been trying to make them shorter. I know you guys are complaining about it. I try to make you guys happy. That's basically all I want. But yeah, guys, if you didn't catch episode one of Skyblock Pokemon Thingy Majiggy, basically, it's Skyblock but with pokemon so let's say you get a actually if you go back here i can give you guys an example so let's say you buy a chikorita it'll help you plant and harvest crops bulbasaur speeds up the growth of crops and uh, mewtwo kills hostile mobs that's like a mob bomb thing we got a golem which is an op couple generator and uh, yeah they will basically help you with the whole skyblock thing so without any further ado let us go to our island where we got our brand new thing all right here we go here we go uh, wait 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 did, did it reset my island? Please tell me it didn't reset my island. So if you guys haven't been following along in the Pokemon series that we got on this server, basically an evil villain stole me and Tia and reset all of our progress on the server. Um, and Sunday actually saved us uh, before anything else would happen. But that means that I also lost... My progress on Skyblock. The server admin is on it, though. If you guys didn't, like, catch all of that stuff, I just posted the video on the TA and Craner channel. And you can go to that down in the description below where we go through a quest that explains everything that happened to us on this server. It's pretty freaking awesome. And uh, we just gotta wait. The server owner will make everything right again. I had a freaking Geo dude, so he's gonna give me one again. And, uh, yeah, just stay tuned, guys. Okay, there we go. I now got the money. So, if you missed the last episode, basically I completed an achievement that gave me $10,000 so I could go to Bob here and buy uh, the Pokemon. Which one was it again? It was like Geo to this guy. And um, so basically what happened last episode was I made a, a cobblestone generator, got money, uh, completed the quest that I needed to complete, and then I got my Geodude. And Geodude basically acts like a cobblestone generator. So you guys will see that in a second. Without any further ado, though, let's just go to our island. We now have a very strong start because we already got the Geodude. So we don't need to make a cobblestone generator. I hope all of this makes sense, guys. If it doesn't, go watch the episode on TS channel today where that we posted today because it basically explains what happened all right well let's not uh, cry over spilled milk as they say i just uh, completely destroyed the first layer right here now the only thing i'm kind of salty about is the fact that i had a diamond pickaxe <laughs> But you know what? You can't always win in this world. It'll try to knock you down and beat you up, guys. But that's when you gotta prevail. And also, the owner is kind of helping me out right now because he feels bad for me. You know, I got reset by that evil villain. It's it's really not the greatest. 
Well, I have now successfully destroyed this entire island and uh, made it, like, all the way down to this bedrock thing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to, like, make it prettier with the extra dirt that I have, right? So let's just imagine that we need, like, a house on here. We need a lot of space, right? So I'm basically just gonna make it a big square. It's not gonna look that pretty right now, but all I'm concerned about right now is getting the, the next quest done, okay? So one, two, three... One, two, three, four. Let's build it one further this way. I also want to make my way over to some of the other islands, like these ones. And and with this one, I can actually make like a, a cacti generator type of thing. So that would be kind of cool. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Counting with Crater is back once again, guys. So where do I want the trees? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take kind of like in the middle here. And then just make my way over to this island because I think a cactus, a, a cactus, <laughs> a cacti, a, a farm generator, whatever you want to call it. I think that could make us quite a lot of money. And uh, now that we built our way over here, we could like expand it a little bit and we could put some trees over on this end. I don't want them to like fill out my entire space. So here we go. They have now been planted. Now, what you do with this geo dude is you simply just. Put him down, right? So right here, look at that. And there he is. Now this dude is gonna spawn stuff in just like a normal cobblestone generator would. It's basically better than a cobblestone generator though because with a cobblestone generator, you have the risk of actually burning your loot every once in a while because of the stupid freaking lava. And there's nothing that can go wrong with this Geo dude at all. And if you get another Pokemon, you can actually set it up so this Pokemon spawns it in and the other one chops it down. So you can basically build an automated cobblestone farm in Skyblock Vanilla Minecraft craft just because this server is freaking op and awesome it's so freaking good seriously guys i don't say this about a lot of servers if you want to really play on a good server that has original quality content with like freaking pokemon and vanilla minecraft with quests and attacks that are actually animated you can it's vanilla minecraft the ip is down in the description below and also skyblock and everything like that i'm gonna be farming this for a while now because i need to make back the resources i lost when the evil villain reset my account <sighs> give me a while guys just give me a little bit okay Give me some iron, dude. Why am I not getting it? <laughs> I'm not getting very lucky right now. At least I'm getting like lapis and I can sell all of that. I mean, I'm always making money regardless, but gosh dang it, man. If I could get some iron right now, I would be genuinely happy because then I could actually like try to farm some diamond too. And get oh, yes. Thank you, Geo, dude. You have blessed me once again. Okay, I only have one iron, although I need three. Come on, Geo. Come on, dude. There's a 2%, like a 50-something chance that you can give me it. Come on, bro. Okay. Guys, if I get an iron ore within the next 10 seconds, you all owe me a burger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dang it! Well, I guess I don't get any burgers now. <gasps> I think he's done with the achievement book. Yes! Thank you, Daddy! Thank you! He's the guy that basically gives me the challenges. So let's see. Okay, we already did this one. This is what we did last episode. Obtain 128 cobblestone, right? We did that. So now we gotta obtain 128 wood. And then we will get Scyther. Scyther. Sky Scyther, I think he's called. We will get that Pokemon. So we need to get to chopping down some trees, guys. That's gonna be sick. I don't even know what Scyther does. Maybe we can see it in Slash Shop. Uh, Scyther... Uh, what does what does he do? Sh uh, Scyther's blind, blindingly fast sharp scythes will cut down any tree around him. <gasps> Is that an automated tree chopper? Oh my goodness! Please tell me that's actually gotta be a thing we get. That would be so sick, dude. Oh my goodness! I wish I could. Maybe I could buy some bone meal. Hold on. Let's see if we can cheat the system a little bit right here. It's not under redstone. Miscellaneous bone. Okay, fifty. It's not that expensive. Okay, so we'll just buy as much of this as we can. Turn that into bone meal. Now we can sell uh, the gravel. Uh, gravel right there. So we're selling that. Wait, shift. Okay, there we go. Is that going to sell it all? How do we sell it all at once? 
Shift, right click to sell one. Shift, right click to sell 64. But we don't have 64. Okay, that's why it doesn't sell. So there we go. Anything else that we can sell? Uh, not really anything that'll give us a lot of money. But now we at least got a couple of bone bone meals. So that's always good. Let's get some more iron though. That is the that, that is what I want. Okay, so the server owner is working really hard on bringing back my items, but we are actually almost at the point where we can make a uh, an iron axe. I was going to make an iron pickaxe, but he's actually going to give me that diamond pickaxe that I had. Well, we just got two iron, by the way. But yeah, the server owner is going to give me back my diamond pickaxe that I had last episode. So let's just make... Yeah, I think that's the best we can do right now. Let's just make an iron axe so that we can actually chop down the trees faster, right? Um, these guys aren't really growing all that fast. I guess I can, like, make this. Oh, gosh, that... Okay. Yeah, this guy doesn't really want to grow, does he? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was actually a lot of uh, bone meal he required right there. Okay, let's just make sure that nothing falls off the edge. I need every single sapling that this freaking thing can offer. So let's just surround it by cobblestone. I don't want to lose out on any saplings right now, guys. I can't wait to see how Scyther does this wood chopping thing, though. Okay, so now if we take this and like that, now we have our very own iron X. That is awesome. So now we just need to chop down a bunch of trees, man. We need two stacks of wood. That's quite a lot of wood. Please, please, I, I normally don't ask for this Minecraft, but if you could always grow these big trees for me, then I would very much love it. I usually try to avoid these big trees because they freaking suck to cut down when you are OCD like me and you want to make sure that every single log is dead. But right now, I can use all the logs in the world. So make sure you, you please only big trees, Minecraft. That's all I'm saying. Only big trees, okay? Because they also give a lot of samplings. This tree was actually incredibly lucky. Look, we already got like 30. Dude, this is not going to be that hard. If we get another big tree like this one, then we are basically done. <laughs> Holy crap. And there's still a bunch on the ground and it gave me a crap ton of saplings too. Yo, man, I might change my mind about big trees. I might just change my mind, but usually they are kind of annoying. I don't know if you guys... Let me know down in the comments if you guys have the same thing as me, where if you don't need wood, then it's very annoying when a big tree spawns and you want to chop it down because then you got to chop down every single single little piece of wood that is in that tree. That kind of sucks. But in this case, we already got 40 oak wood thingies. Which is pretty freaking good. I think there's a, um, a, a oak log somewhere right there. Now, we should have everything done in this tree. And we got a couple of saplings out of that as well, actually. There we go. We got some more wood right there. Uh, and some more saplings. We now have eight saplings available. This is pretty good, dude. So, if we plant that there, bone meal it. Come on, bro. Why do some of these trees require more bone meals than others? Does anybody know why that is? If you can tell me down in the comments, I'm actually really interested in hearing that because I've never researched why that is. Like, some trees grow... Like, that was only two. That one over there needed, like, four bone meal. Is it just, like, a chance thing? I don't know. Let me know, guys. That's actually a good question. Maybe some of you guys don't know it either, but then you can check the comments and get an answer. That's the beauty of YouTube. <laughs> all right, let's go this one, too. And um, already got a stack, almost. It's going pretty good, dude. Wait, if I use bone meal on this grass... Can I get seeds this way? Or is that, like, disabled in, in Skyblock? I think I can, right? I don't see why not. If I can get seeds, though, that would be a good way for me to get some food already. Let's see if it works. I, I have no idea if it actually works. Oh, there it is! Yes! Okay, that is really OP. I had no idea you could just do that. Because I was, like, looking at my food bar. And I luckily, I had an apple. But then I thought, how the crap do I get food? But I figured it out, guys. I used my brain. Now, the only downside to using this for seeds... <sighs> now, we don't really have a lot for the trees, do we? But you gotta, you gotta compromise every once in a while, guys. You can't have the cake and eat it, okay? Okay, let's put that there. Okay, please grow. Please grow big and strong. Come on, tree. Don't... Don't... Yes. Oh, my goodness. I got a little over a stack of wood, but I'm all out of bone meal now. I think the best thing I can do... Oh, we got a diamond pickaxe back. Okay, perfect. We can also put on this armor. There we go. Thank you, server owner. Now, I guess the best thing we can do now is just farm a crap ton of stuff that we can actually sell for money and then sell it and buy 
bone meal for it, right? I, th I think that's the best we can do because that Scyther thing is really gonna make it very OP for us. So let's try to get that done. I also want an area just full of trees so I can see how much Scyther actually cuts down. Let's make some money though, guys. Okay, I think we got enough to sell now. So let's go into the block thing. Uh, I guess we can sell our iron stuff as well. Wait, that's probably an ores. Uh, so we have to smelt it down first. It does sell for quite a lot, though. Let's sell the diamonds. Uh, didn't I have any? Oh, I, wait, what? I thought I had diamonds. Well, I guess we can smelt down this iron right here. And then we can probably sell the gold ore as well. We can sell some lapis right there. What else can we sell, guys? We got a crap ton of cobblestone that I don't need right now. So I guess we could go in here and sell... That, so shift, right click, there we go. Freaking just sell everything. So now we got enough to buy a little bit of bone. Oh, oh like three bones. Dang it! <laughs> okay, this is gonna take longer than I thought, but that's no problem, man. We'll definitely... Come on, please grow. That guy ate all of my bone meal. This tree was $150 worth. What the crap, tree? You totally just scammed me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been scammed by a tree, but I definitely was today. I got scammed by a tree, guys. I definitely did. Guys, dang it. All right, guys, we are now done. There we go. We now have 128 wood, which means that this achievement right here is now done, which means that we will now get another Pokemon, which will help us out on our Sky Block adventure. Let me just hit up the owner, and I'll let him know what we have done. That was pretty freaking fast. It wasn't actually as slow as I thought it would be. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty neat, dude. Good job, guys. You did good. Look at this. He just gave us $200,000 for completing that achievement, and that's because, well... The Scyther, or Scyther, I'm not sure how to say it, by the way. Sorry if any of you guys got mad at me for mispronouncing it. But he cost $200,000. So he better be freaking worth it because that's quite a lot of money, dude. All right, Bob, what do you got for me, bro? What do you got? So if we go into Pokemon and then buy Scyther, here we go. So this guy will actually cut down trees for me. I can't believe they actually managed to do this in Vanilla Minecraft, dude. Alright, let's go to our island. And I guess we just plop him down at the place where we think that we would like to plant the trees. Now, I don't really have a place like that yet. But I'm gonna make one very soon. It's not gonna be right here. But if we put Skyther, like, right here. Look at him. And then put, like, just trees around him, I guess. I, I don't know how it works. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have to be able to grow as well, right? Which they definitely can't like this. But does he replant them too? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to buy some bone meal and find out. Okay, I'm really gonna have to. So miscellaneous bone meal. Here we go. Well, bones, and then turn them into bone meal. Now, if we make okay, let's just take these away because that's silly. It's not gonna work like that. Let's just put one there, one there. One there, maybe one over here and see if it also chops that down. So make that one grow. Does he... He chopped it down immediately. And then this one? Dang it, okay, it didn't grow, but look at that. And then if you right-click him, show inventory, he now has everything that that tree is dropping in, uh, gro <laughs> dropping in his inventory. So he picks it up as well. That is so sick. And mind you, this is vanilla Minecraft, guys. That is so unbelievably cool. Okay, so if we take this, buy some more bones. Here we go. Take that and then put this guy and then make that one. For, look, it just chopped it down immediately. What about this guy? Does it chop that down too? It did. What about that? Oh my, look, it just chopped it. What? That is so fast. So if you have a lot of bone meal, you can definitely farm very quickly. Look at that. That is is absolutely amazing. How does how do they even do that kind of stuff in vanilla Minecraft? Well, 
High five, crazy fam. We freaking did it again. We now have two Pokemon. And uh, remember, if you want to watch what happened to me since I got reset, check out the T and Creator channel. But anyway, guys, that's going to have to be it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Remember, if you want to play on this amazing server, IP is down in the description below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Thank you for watching till the end of this video. Make sure you check out yesterday's video right here. And the most recent video on the Tia channel is right here. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking this button. And if you would like to subscribe to me and my girlfriend's channel, you can click this button.